Hey y'all, what's up? It's me. It's Jacosta Lester. How are you? Um, sometimes I just jump on camera to record a video to avoid forgetting what it was that I wanted to discuss. And sometimes I endure things. I go through something. It's really something I'm like, okay, I want to discuss this. So number one, um, the games that people play in life are not things that you want to become involved in and you don't want them played with your life. There are weirdos that are so willing to be near you. They don't want to give you your private space. And I'm telling you, there are things in life that reveal these types to you. So your private space, that's your home. That's your, your restroom, different places in your life where it's intended just for you. But sometimes they find a way to get near you using those people that are closest to you. Sometimes it's the folly and sometimes it's just that the malignant nature of a person that got near you. So in this video, I want to talk to you about the games that people play. I'm doing uh, a lot of these videos on my second channel because um, I'm trying to limit, again, my first channel uh, to the discussion of spec, okay? Um, I haven't been so active on my main channel because I have to sit down and kind of think about what I want to discuss. And my cell phone was stolen. So all of my intros and things that I was using to make the video a more presentable video, I have to redo them. <laughs> so it might be a little bit before I get back to my main channel, just a little bit. I have to go and redo everything. <laughs> so I'm a little angry. <laughs> but um, I want to talk to you, number one, um, some of these people, they're at least a pair of people when they come to meet you. They're the person that, and these are the weirdos of life. I'm telling you, they're not normal. These people, normal is the line of demarcation that they left behind a long time ago. They went from normality into a place of warped and cuckoo, and they tried to drag you there too. Some of us appear that way now because they grabbed onto us, they latched onto our lives, and they refused to let go. They're weirdos. You meet them face to face. I'm telling you, some of these people talk like Bert and Kermit and they talk like Muppets. When you consider a lot of the cartoonish things that they try to um, leave us watching as adults, <laughs> I'm telling you, when you look at them, <laughs> these people are it. I didn't understand it until I kind of considered uh, Romans 13 for real. And I looked out at the world that we live in and I'm like, yo, we were warned as children about these weirdos. We just didn't understand the warning. So going forward, the people that you want to avoid close relationships with, they usually come with cursing and trying to withdraw blessings from your life. They understand they're evil and they're just, they come close to you in an effort to take you out. <laughs> they're cartoonish. They're weird. <laughs> they game with life. So people show up as at least a pair of people. They're not just that person that you're meeting amongst these weirdos, okay? They come as themselves and the neighboring or adjoining weirdo. <laughs> they come as a pair. So let's say you got married to a weirdo, okay? The weirdo that you married potentially had a pairing weirdo <laughs> that came to you in life, that drew nigh to you, and people weren't so upfront nor forthcoming with you about who they were, okay? So let's say you were dating someone and they were already with someone and that someone is serious. They're, they're, that's their real person. There are some people that are willing to tag team you in a game as a couple. They are evil. They are crazy. <laughs> Spec for me eliminates these from your lives at least. I've already kind of gotten, you know, rung around by them, but I know God can, he can take it away. In other words, he can free us from captivity. He can set the captives free. But I'm telling you, there are some weird, strange people. And they come to you with all these issues. And you're like, hold on, wait, 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 wait. You're thinking, oh, I'm just going to go walk in the park. They're trying to walk in the park to, to solve world hunger and to kill people that didn't walk in the park earlier. It's just crazy. It's what they are. Then they try their best to label you with their labels. They're crazy, but then they try to call you crazy based on what you've observed in life and decided to discuss openly. I'm telling you, there are people that will never understand what it is to be you, but you can't tell them that. <laughs> they think they're all over it. They think they know more than you 
about you being you. That's an interesting take on life. They're crazy. <laughs> so repent for the kingdom of heaven is a hand. I understand that the people that show up in your life, they don't just show up as an individual. Sometimes they show up. If you've ever played the game of chess, many of the games that we play gave us cues about how to address people in social situations in actual life, how to engage them truly. There are whole chess teams <laughs> around you. <laughs> and I'm telling you, the only way out of them is Jesus. So come to Jesus and repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. These people, I'm telling you, you go to a company, it is a company, a company of folks, a cohort. When you come in, just know it's you as an individual coming into a company. And they can either choose to accept you or deny you. When they become hostile, just understand that the aggression, it may not always be clear. In this video, I want to establish that the aggression is so and these are things that are um, superficially and readily observable. If you just look at a person and say, you know what? I got a type I just don't like. I just don't want. It's not a yoke that I'm even willing to take on. Okay. So have a blessed, marvelous day and thank you for watching.